The news that stirred a lot of public debate this week was the caning of three Muslim women for the Sharia offences. Home Minister Datuk Sri Hishamuddin Hussein said that the three women were caned at the Kajang prison last Tuesday for engaging in illicit sex. They were the first women in Malaysia to receive such punishment. This created an outrage from women's groups, while others say the punishment should not be sensationalised. Sisters in Islam Executive Director Dr. Hamidah Marikan said that the three cases would further discriminate Muslim women in Malaysia. Dr. Hamidah asked whether the men involved were similarly caned. The issue of caning of women had ignited a fierce debate in the country after 32-year-old Kartika Sari Devi Sukarno was sentenced to be caned for drinking beer in July last year. Her sentence has yet to be executed. Opposition leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim's sodomy trial also took centre stage this week as Anwar fails in his bid to get the Court of Appeal to strike out his sodomy charge. Anwar also failed in his application to recuse Judge Justice Muhammad Zabidin Muhammad Dia from hearing his sodomy's trial. The trial had been said pending an appeal over the recusal ruling. Judge fixed March 25th for mention. Meanwhile, several NGO groups, including 17 members of parliament, handed over a memorandum to the Australian High Commissioner protesting the act of more than 50 Australian MPs who had called for the sodomy case against Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim to be dropped. The MPs had presented a memorandum to the Australian High Commission to Malaysia, Penny Williams, protesting what it describes as an intervention by the Australian government into the case. Other news that made headlines was a confusion over where to hold the Chinese New Year National Day celebration. It was only two days before the event was it confirmed that the scheduled plan will go ahead at the Jalan Chan Ah Chu in Pandamaran on Saturday. The controversy over the venue ended after a council official denied that it had rejected the application by the organisation to hold the event there Saturday. The celebrations had become a controversy when Klang Barisan National Chairman Dato Te Kim Poo revealed that the Klang Municipal Council had rejected the organiser's request to hold the event there. A municipal council official who declined to be named denied that the council had rejected the application.